Kopi? What's wrong, buddy? What kind of money? What kind of money? No? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Kopi. No. No. You can't have it. Go throw yourself on the point. Go, go do that. Go throw yourself. Go throw it No. No. No, you can't have it. No. You can't have the controller. No. No. Kopi. High five. High five. What are you talking about? Kobe. <laughs> Kobe, high five. What are you looking at? It's a tall house. Kobe, 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 Kobe. Look at me. Who's poopy? Not it. work Duh! all right all right all right here big strong brick wall do you know your bear is drowned please don't turn the page please i'll turn you around please you just look at that. The muscles away. Mom, can I see
right there are some chickadee. We have a big chickadee population living in our yard. And right there, the other day, yesterday, was where the fox was, and I didn't get a picture of him. So that's the wildlife in Beechwood. Squirrels and chickadees and foxes, oh my. Okay, so I'm looking for more wildlife around here. Haven't found it yet. The chickadees didn't come to today. But I thought I would show you our uh, Easter lilies that came up after Easter. And we've been planting these for a good many years now. So we have lots of them. So there's... Well, hello from Louisiana. This, she, this week's... This week's... Uh, video is about wildlife in Beechwood, which is the subdivision where we live, Kiss and Bear. And this turtle greeted me and is trying to move down off, off of our driveway, but he greeted me as I came in Wednesday from uh, doing, doing some errands. And I'm gonna see if I can get him to move a little bit. He's moving very slowly. And now he's sticking his head in. So you won't be able to see him very well, but doesn't he have a pretty shell pattern? He really does. And he's a pretty big guy too. To be continued. Give me a high five. No, give me a boom. Give me a boom. You stretch. You boom. Yeah. Boom. Uh, High five. Yeah. No, you leave me hanging. Ah, oh, there you go. Ah, oh, there you go. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. All right, for my podcast recommendation here, I'd like to recommend Nancy, a comic collection. Now, this is done by Olivia James, who is picking up the strings of a much older comic strip and sort of turning into a modern take on it or extending this. Um, it says here, of course, she's picking up the old Nancy comic strip that goes way, way back. A little girl who gets into mischief, who lives with her aunt, kind of almost Dennis the Menace like. But she takes a modern spin on it and adds sort of a new level to it that's just absolutely hilarious and entertaining. So if you like something that's short, little bits, three panels normally comic strip, it's right up your alley. For my podcast recommendation, I'm going to recommend this one from the Daily Beast called The New Abnormal. Now this is with Rick Wilson, who is a former Republican strategist, and Molly Jung Fast, who is a liberal artist and writer. Um... <laughs> It's interesting, they started this in the wake of the pandemic, and they are pretty blunt because Rick Wilson was what you would probably would consider a never-Trumper. And so he wrote a book called Everything Trump Touches Dies, and he is more than willing to blast the hypocrisy and the stupidity of people who pretend to be conservatives and who he thinks are not. So again, fun one to re listen to. Not exactly safe for kids because they do have a segment called F This Guy. And for the adults in the room, you'll know how to finish that, fill it in. And for the kids, that means fudge. All right, I'm a big fan of G.J. Meyer and his history and his approach to writing history. I've read his book or listened to his book on the Tudors, and I've listened to his book on the Borgias. And what I love about it is how he concludes chapter with these little background segments where he fills you in on these details. So I really appreciate it. And I just recently finished his World Undone, The Story of the Great War, 1914 to 1918. And boy, if you ever want to read just plain stupid, this is exactly what this is. Um, and it was very telling because I recently also watched the movie 1917 as well. And it's just sort of a strange, powerful, but yet futile and pointless element to all of it that's both fascinating and really sad. Teen Titans, go, go, Teen Titans.